Oh, thanks for joining me. Well, several months ago I made this oiling pump for my change gears, or in the change gear area. I got a quick change gear box. But I made it out of a grease, grease gun pump and I can't get it to prime. And it was somewhat of a problem when I first built it. I did a video on it, you might remember it. Uh, but I gotta figure out why it won't prime. So I gotta get this thing out of here. I kinda, I've been kinda putting it off because it's hard to get out of here and it's kinda nasty. I've, I've got some really thick oil in there. and Plus these tubes that I put in, the copper tubes are kinda hard to deal with. Maintain the right clearances to the gears so the gears get oil and all that. Just awkward to work on. Very awkward. With this grease gun embedded in oil, you would think it would never lose its prime. I'm wondering if there wasn't a check ball in the grease line itself. In other words, the output side. There's already one installed on the input side. The suction side. Get a rag here. I've got some really good oil in here. It's real stringy. Uh, Stays with the gears good, but it's kind of messy to deal with. I'll discuss the type of oil I'm using here in a minute. Very impressed with the oil. Actually, if I remember right, there is a check ball in there. I don't know if there was one in here on the pickup side. Let's dig into it and see if we can figure this out. Okay, there is a check ball in there, but I just noticed something in there. There's a uh, spring in there. I didn't. I don't remember seeing that spring before. Can't really get it out. I think that spring is pushing against the check ball. Question is, maybe there wasn't enough spring pressure. Well, there's a little spring holding a check ball in there. And I'm, I'm going to assume it's okay because I can't get it out. So let's take off this, this end. That was a little bit loose. Maybe I've not got a good seal there. It's got a rubber seal right here, no check valve, but that was open to the grease on the original grease gun. This, this right here took the place of the barrel, and I got a hole that picks up the oil right there and comes into here. I wonder if the oil level was up to that. I think it, I think it was. But there is no check valve in here, and there really shouldn't need to be. Or at least there wasn't on the original design. But now, the original design had a plunger with pressure on the grease. I wonder if I just didn't have my oil level full enough to get to that. 
I think I'm going to put it back together and increase the oil level. If you look, the oil pickup is just barely below these mounting holes and my oil level is about right there. I think this may require, like when this handle comes up, it probably doesn't create much of a vacuum to suck the grease or oil back in. So it may rely on the grease being pushed into that hole to pump out or oil. This was a little loose. I don't think I can go a full turn tighter though. And have it vertical. I think I'm going to put some thread tape on that. Don't really think that's an issue, but it could be. It's got a rubber seal in there. I'm just not convinced it's sealing tight enough against that rubber seal. Well, before I hook up those fittings, let's increase the oil level and see if that resolves it. Hmm. It's working now. Well, I'm going to hook up the lines and <clears throat> then we'll add more oil and see if we can get it working right. Okay, it's all hooked up. And working perfectly. Wow! I'm glad of that, I just don't know why. <laughs> hmm. I am going to increase the oil level. I got this piece of filter material on top. And I'm going to change the oil because I well, this was messed up. I tried something. I used this product right here. And it really seems to work good. Uh, they didn't pay me to say that. They're getting some free advertising. But I'm going to try to get some of that oil out of there and replace it with that. I don't know how I'm going to get it out of there. A siphon, maybe. <laughs> oh, I was afraid of that. Pretty thick stuff. Slow siphon. Yeah, I'll be here for an hour or so. Boy, that's some thick stuff. Well, that's definitely more full than it was. Okay, probably won't, there's probably enough oil on the gears now where we won't hear a difference when we pump it. Oh, that's quiet. Oh, that's working great. Works better than it ever did. I guess the combination of the oil level and putting that thread tape on the pump probably did it. Incredibly quiet. Probably kind of hard to tell on the video. But that's, that's more quiet than it's ever been. Well, that about wraps it up. That's my uh, oil pump repair video, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.